back fellow artists and if you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm Mad Chen and I'm a digital illustrator. I create Procreate tutorials for beginners. For today's Procreate tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic iris in Procreate. First, we need to set up a color palette for the iris. I've created this color palette for you guys so that you can place it into Procreate to follow along with the tutorial. When you create this color palette in Procreate, please make sure that you place the colors in the exact same position as I've done here to make it easier for you to follow along with my Procreate tutorial. If you're not sure how to create a Procreate palette, you can check out one of my tutorials, which I will leave a link up above, to show you how to create a color palette. Feel free to grab your iPad so that you can paint with me. You can also pause at any point in the video in case you need more time. So now let's get started with the tutorial. So first we're going to go to the brush library and then we'll go down to the painting category and choose the wet acrylic brush. Go to color palettes, then choose the black on the top left here. And we need to decrease the brush size. We're going to draw a large circle and I'm just going to use a finger to help make it into a perfect circle. Then we'll go back to layers and add a new layer so that we can draw a smaller circle within the larger one. Drag and drop black into the smaller circle. This is the pupil. Go back to layers and choose the larger circle layer. Then go to color palettes and choose green here. Then drag and drop that green into the larger circle. Go back to layers and add a new layer. Then go to color palettes and choose the dark yellow color here. Decrease the brush size and decrease your opacity. And we're going to paint around the pupil. Don't worry about getting this part perfect as we'll be adjusting this later. Go back to layers and click on the green circle. Then add a new layer. Click on the blank space and choose clipping mask. Go back to color palettes and choose black again. Decrease the brush size, increase the opacity. We're going to put some black on the outer part of the iris. We're just putting the base layer down, which we will blend with additional colors later on in the tutorial. Go to Gaussian Blur and we'll take Gaussian Blur up to 7.1%. Then we'll go back to Layers and add a new layer. Click on the blank space and choose Clipping Mask. Go to Color Palettes and choose the green on the top right. Now we're going to draw some lines coming out from the pupil. We're going to go all the way around the pupil. Then we'll go around a second time to cover the rest of the iris. Then we'll go back to layers and add a new layer. Click on the blank space and choose clipping mask. Then go back to color palettes and choose the color on the bottom left here. Decrease both the brush size and opacity. And now we're going to add different length lines on the iris. Then go back to layers and click on the dark yellow layer and choose the erase tool. Now we're going to clean up some of that yellow around the pupil. Go back to layers and click on the third layer from the top, then add a new layer. Click on the blank space, then choose clipping mask. Go to color palettes and choose white. Decrease the opacity. And again we're going to go around the iris adding some extra highlights. Go to layers, click on N on the right, and go to opacity and take it down to 80%. Next, click on the pupil layer and add a new layer. Make sure you have white selected from color palettes. Decrease the brush size just a little. Then we're going to start drawing the main highlight on the iris. Then we'll go back to layers, click on N, and we're going to go to opacity and take it down to 79%. Decrease your brush size, increase your opacity. Then go back to layers and add a new layer. And we're going to add a little more highlight. Then we'll go back to layers, click on the fourth layer from the top, go back to color palettes, and choose the dark yellow again. Increase your brush size and decrease your opacity. We're going to add more yellow to make it visible. Go back to layers, go to the bottom layer, then add a new layer. Go to color palettes and choose black. Decrease the brush size. And we're going to paint a thin outline around the iris. Go to layers, go to the third layer from the bottom, click on N and take opacity down to 60%. Then click on the dark yellow layer, go to color palettes and choose dark yellow. And we're going to be switching between the brush and the smudge tool as we want the yellow to be visible as well as blend into the green. Now this is how you paint or draw a realistic iris. You can use this technique for any eye color such as brown or blue. And now you know how to draw a realistic iris in Procreate. 
Thanks for watching, guys! If you'd like to be notified of future Procreate tutorials, you can subscribe to Mad Chen and turn on notifications. If you have any questions, comments, or problems with Procreate, please leave comments down below because I want to be supportive and help you guys get better at using Procreate and also get better at your artwork. You can also check out my other Procreate tutorials, which I will leave links up above and also in the description below. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next Procreate tutorial.